Here he is, the man with the newest Kenny Golden sign on his bike. Thanks, Kenny. Uh, I would like to know if you've read the Fair Tax I have. The only thing I haven't done to the fair tax books is Reynolds. Where's Reynolds? Reynolds has the fair tax book marked and indicated in indices and passages, all that. We are going to sit down sometime this weekend and I'm going to put the same marks and indices in my fair tax books. And I have two of them. I have one at home and one at the office. We're going to go through and put that stuff in because the fair tax is the way we're going to have to go. It is not smart to tax your income. Tax what you consume is the way to go. I do not believe in the value added tax as well. Yeah. The, the thing that I cannot wrap my brain around so far is how you make the transition. And that's the part where I've got to go back over. Because that, that's the part that I don't understand is do you immediately make it one year or do you phase it out? It seems almost too hard to me to just phase it out. It seems like to me you ought to say, in 2012, April 4th, when you pay, April 15th, when you pay your taxes, that year is going to be the start of 2012, or whenever you decide to do it. Uh, it's going to be an uphill battle, but I think if we get enough conservatives, enough fiscal conservatives, enough constitutionalists, we can get the flat tax, the fair tax installed. The fair tax, not the flat tax. The fair tax installed in this country and you will see things change dramatically in this country. Let me talk about value-added tax real quick. I'll tell you my story about the value-added tax. I'm in England, over there. Francie hadn't gotten there yet, but I bought myself a little British Ford. It's like a, about the size of a Ford Escort station wagon. I'm so proud of it. Bought it from an Australian buddy of mine. You know, I'm shining it up and cleaning it up and going to class, but it's missing a hubcap. So being a true American car affection, I don't say, I gotta get a hubcap. So I went to the junkyard. Couldn't find a hubcap to match, so I finally called a Ford dealer and said, Sure, mate, I've got one. 16 pounds. All right, I'll be right down and pick it up. So I drive down the Ford dealership, walk in, set up, heard my hubcap. Oh, you're a Gold, yes, sir. So that'll be 28 pounds. And I go, What? 28 pounds? He goes, Yeah. I said, You told me 16 pounds over the telephone. He goes, Oh, mate, you're a Yank. Yeah. You don't know about the value added tax. And I want the what? The value added tax. I said, what the hell is a value added tax? He said, that's what we tax everything in Great Britain. I said, so $16, 16 pounds, and now you add 12 pounds onto it. I guess that makes my hubcap more valuable, so that's why you have a value added tax. He said, you got it, mate. You understand now. That's the value added tax. Now. Think about this. Think about the taxes we pay right now and add a value-added tax on what we already pay. You talk about killing this country. We will kill the golden goose that laid the golden egg if we do that. So if anybody comes to you and says, well, we just need a little value-added tax, or we need a little tax here, tell them to take a hike. We need no more taxes, period.